Welcome to Wrath Mechanic, or rather my series of it. You see, Wrath Mechanic is a mod that, well, does a few things, like turning your entire world into an ocean. So there's gonna be some new and interesting gameplay for us to experience. And there's even a story if I open the logbook. We'll have a look at this later, because first I definitely need to set my respawn point. But I also need to survive, because I'm already running out of food and water. Now, luckily there's a bit of food and water on this raft. I mean, of course it's Sunshake. So I'm also gonna collect the uh, water bottles over here. And if we actually go over here on this new workbench, you can see there's a bunch of new items we can craft. There's also no hammer in our hotbar. So we should start by gathering the resources for a hammer. Now, just like in Raft, there's a lot of scrap floating on the ocean. So I'm just gonna swim around and collect a bit of scrap. But don't worry, there's a much better way to do this. Also, if you want to play with the mod yourself, I'll leave a link in the description. Oh, look, I've even found some water floating on the water. Oh, yeah, you can also see there's underwater rocks. Well, but of course, our beginnings are a little humble. But don't worry, I think we're gonna get to submarine mining rocks later. Like, this is gonna get really awesome. So, with the new resources, I can start crafting the hammer and it'll also craft the pulling hook look at this amazing hammer like it's literally just a piece of wood on a plunger so just like with a regular hammer we can just start hammering our raft and that's how we move and if i now collect the hook we can use it like the hook and raft so if i charge this thing throw that into the ocean we throw the hook and if this is near the ocean junk it's gonna pull it towards our raft like this is so much more enjoyable than having to swim there every time. Now, luckily, I think there's already a rune over there because we're gonna need some scrap metal to make more stuff. Hi, oh, this is so cool to use. And over here, we have an actual loot crate in the ocean. They are kind of like the barrels and raft. Now, the only problem is the loot always drops to the floor, but we're actually getting seeds here and soil, which is actually pretty useful because if I had the right resources, yeah, I'm only gonna need some glue, then I can craft a scrap field. Now, sadly, that requires clam diving, and I'm not really a huge fan of clam diving, but getting one glue isn't too bad. I think it's also cheaper now than in vanilla, so it only requires two glue clams. Okay, I'm really hoping there's gonna be some hay boss on the island, because they're gonna drop some scrap metal. Oh yeah, I can already see one, so the hammer is now a lot weaker than in vanilla, so it's gonna be kind of a tough fight against the bot. So we gotta be kinda careful, but I think I'm doing pretty well. Yeah, he should be very close to destruction. That's good, we get a circuit board and some scrap metal. So because I got lucky to have a ruin so far, uh, close to spawn, I'm gonna start by... Oh my god, the spear is actually a lot more expensive than I thought. Oh yeah, and if you thought we can just cut trees like normal, we're actually gonna need an axe for this. Which, of course, is also gonna need some scrap metal, so I'll have to find a few more bots, but this rune is already sounding very dangerous. But since I've got two sunshake, I'm pretty confident. Oh god, there's three hay bots. I hope they're not all gonna- yep, they're all ganging up on me. This is gonna be fun. But the good thing is they start ragdolling if you- they try to walk down the staircase. Yeah, I think fall damage is somehow broken in this mod for some reason. I don't know why. I'm actually really glad it is. Right though, but we're gonna need to somehow get rid out of all these bots. And it's starting to hurt quite a bit. Okay, I got one down, I got two down. Oh my god, there's two more. I think I'm gonna die. Like, I didn't plan to die in the first episode. Alright, I think... Oh, that was a tough fight. But we've got lots of circuit boards and component kits and, most importantly, scrap metal. Well, so let's see if the fight was worth it. Oh, there's a rat beat. That's pretty good, because I don't really have a lot of food. There's two loot crates. Oh, another rat beat. A carrot. A carrot is actually really useful, because you can use it to craft soil. Oh, there's also some chemicals and another sunshake. That's really good. Not because I like sunshake a lot. It also gives you HP back and... It's a really good food item. <laughs> I've also added a secret to the sunshake. Oh my god, there's yet another sunshake. That is so epic. I really like sunshake. Oh god, I got a scrap wheel. Are you serious? I think it's even more useless in this mod than usual because we're not really gonna need wheels for anything. And it's not even very buoyant. I think I'm just gonna throw it away. Oh my god, I just failed at it. Ahem, <laughs> throw it away. Oh, there's even an epic loot crate over here. I'm so lucky on this seat. All right, let's see what we get. It's the revival baguette. Well, since I'm playing single player, it's not that useful, but the soil bag is pretty cool, just like the fertilizer. I can show you in a minute when I get back to my... Oh my god, there's another epic loot crate! I am really lucky today, that's pretty cool. Oh, it's just a garment box. 
Yeah, I'm not really gonna need them. But yeah, we got plenty resources from here, so I think it's time to craft some new things on our raft. Yeah, I'm not gonna pick you up, Scrap Wheel. And it'd be cool if I could get some light on here. So my first priority is the water purifier. Now to craft one, we're gonna need some buckets, but luckily there's a recipe for buckets now that just uses plastic. So I guess in the meantime, I can tell you about the story. Starlock 2469, nice. nice. As my ship traveled through the 5U5 star system on a cargo mission, something hit my ship. Luckily, I was able to do an emergency landing. I don't know where my ship is, but at least I could deploy the emergency raft in time. So yeah, we are basically crashed on this planet and lost our ship. Also, the water purifier is quite a shanker, so I'm gonna need some more raft bases. And I think I'm starting to run out of plastic. So it's time we start moving again. And there's also a bunch of loot crates over there, so I think I'm just gonna go there. Yeah, this is getting pretty dark, but it's gonna be day in no time again, I hope. So there's a component, n another, oh, it's just potatoes. I thought it was another scrap wheel. That's good. Oh my God, this dropped quite far. Or maybe we can also like pick up one of the glow bugs. Well, the water purifier is done. So I think I'm gonna extend my raft over here. All right, and now you're gonna see this thing is huge. So with the water purifier, I can make clean water out of scrap wood and water. And yo, you can now see it's crafting and it's even lighting up the raft now, which is pretty cool since it's very dark. Maybe I'm actually gonna keep the glow bug as a pet. That would be pretty cool. Yeah, we can even make some cardboard. So perhaps we can use it for movement. Because if I start placing down a cardboard block, it's... Like, it's not really moving the raft. I'm gonna need to build a little cage for it, which is gonna be kind of expensive. So our next goal should be to go to the Space Rangers outpost. According to the ship's navigational unit, there should be an outpost somewhere. Strangely, it hasn't been sending signals for more than a decade. Maybe it can repair the station and send a distress signal? Looking at the picture, it seems run down. I wonder what happened there. Maybe I should improvise a weapon. Yeah, I wrote the description and it's actually a good call. Since I have so much spare scrap metal, I'm actually gonna craft a spear. And now the water purifier is done. And as you can see, we've got some clean water over here, which we can of course actually drink. And this is gonna fill up our water. So we've now got more or less an endless source of water. Oh yeah, and I should actually set the waypoint. Now we'll just need to slowly move our entire raft over there. Oh god, my, my raft already starts moving. It's the glow bug, I think. Oh no. Yeah, I'm gonna need more blocks to build him a little cage. But yeah, first I need to collect all of the scrap over here because there's a lot. Oh, and the spear's also done. So as you can see, we can now step stuff with it. Although it kind of looks like a pool table stick if we hit with this thing, but it's sure more effective than a wooden hammer. Okay, I'm also gonna fill... Oh god, I need to be careful with the glow bug. It really needs a little cage. But yeah, I just wanted to get the scrap metal, uh, the scrap wood by fixing the leak so I can, yeah, have more wood to build actually a cage for the glow bug. All right, this is not gonna be a big cage, but it hopefully should do the job. Yeah, I think the raft is moving. Not super fast, but... Hey, I don't need to hammer. Okay, I think I'm still better off hammering. <laughs> the only disadvantage of hammering is it consumes a lot of water. But that's not a problem because we've got still quite a lot of water in reserve. All right, we're getting close to the tile. I also added custom tiles to the mod. Yeah, the hook is so useful to get all of these resources cause I'm kind of running out of wood. But once we actually get on the island, I should be able to cut down some trees by making an ax. Man, we're getting pretty close. I have a feeling that making the scrap purifier slows down the hammering by a lot because it's so heavy. But yeah, I've got nothing but time. All right, we are about to land the end. I'm pretty close to the shore. And there we go. Now, I just gotta be... Yeah, uh, the glow bug is kind of difficult to keep because it starts moving the raft slowly away from the island. Maybe this is why it took forever to hammer. Oh my god, what you can see right there is a so-called land shark. It definitely doesn't have to do with the lazy shark AI I coded. But I think we're gonna have a proper introduction to sharks soon. But first I think it's time we check out the Space Rangers station. Oh no, there's actually some pigment flowers around. But I don't think we really need them for stuff. Oh, yep, there's, there's a bot of bots that I can hear. Luckily, I've now got the spear and what you'll be able to see is that it's really effective for combat. And there's even some cotton over here, which is going to come in pretty handy, I think. Not too sure about the corn, though, because I would kind of need to find a walk. And since the islands are not really big, 
It's probably gonna be a little tough, but I'm just gonna pick it up anyway. Yeah, my inventory is already almost overflowing, so I hope we'll be able to make some chests soon. Well, and just as usual, we get the battery over here and a friendly haybot. I mean, not really a friendly one. Oh my god, he's making me thirsty. Oh, now is the right time to drink a sunshake because it also gives back some health and... Right, that gives us some more resources and, most importantly, the master battery. Oh, there's even some honey, like, beehives over here. So, let's get some of those. And, yeah, my inventory is so close to being full. Oh, I did not see the save bot at all. Good thing I have the spear, though. Like, it's so strong. I'm also so glad we adjusted the refine time. It's only two seconds now. I would go crazy having to do it the normal way. Now, there's just some hay laying around, but if we get rid of it... We actually see the power socket. And I think we can just old school put the master battery in here. And oh, look at this. We've unlocked a new recipe. And we even got a new story entry. Antenna status. The communication antenna in the outpost has been damaged by Haybots. Further analysis of the planet reveals that it has been taken over by a mega corporation. But something must have gone terribly wrong. However, I should be able to build a small radio to send and receive local distress signals. To improve my scrap wood, I'm going to need a better crafting station though. Alright, does not really look like this uh, outpost is working, cause it's pretty damn abandoned. But yeah, because we need some new craft bot, we can just make a lightweight craft bot. And yeah, it's a lot cheaper than usual, because uh, we did not really want you to grind on this island as much. Where do I find the craft bot? Well, let's check out the top of the station. Now there's even more hay over here, how did the hay even got onto this thing? This probably has to do with the haybots, honestly. But yeah, there's not much else to do here, I think. But over here, I think the craft bot dropped. So I'll just have to carry this to my raft, which I parked somewhere, I think. Oh yeah, and this really is a lightweight craft bot because we can just punch it around. I mean, honestly, if this thing would be vanilla heavy, it would just sink your entire raft. Lowbuck is still alive, that's pretty good. So yeah, we need to start expanding our raft because the craft bot is pretty thick. So to make raft bases, I'm gonna need wood and plastic. Now to get some more wood, I can just make myself an axe. And I would also really like a chest. You can also see to make the makeshift radio antenna. We'll need some good wood and actual metal. But first one thing at a time and there's actually some wood very close to this island so I might as well just pick it up. But yeah, so now with this new axe we can cut trees just with our tool. Which we can't do with the normal hammer. So I'm now just gonna chop some wood. And yeah, our water is getting pretty low again. So yeah, always remember to stay hydrated. Alright, so we almost got an entire stack of wood now. Which is pretty good since I'm gonna need a lot of wood to make fresh water. Now to get the metal we're gonna need for the chest, we can craft a pickaxe. But yeah, now I just gotta wait for a bunch of cra uh, stuff to craft. So I guess I'll just cut another tree. Oh no, the wood is rolling into the ocean. But yeah, I think it's time to drink another sunshake. I really need to start thinking about food soon. Dude, I'm using so much water again just to refine all of this wood. I don't even wanna imagine how bad it is with the normal refine times. But the good thing is the water purifier has been hard at work. And we also get a bunch of new raft bases, some glue and the pickaxe. Okay, now I need to make sure I place all the raft bases in the same with the same rotation. Because then it looks much nicer, I guess. Oh no, this is all over the place. <laughs> so we can even craft some plastic. We're just gonna need some oil and chemicals for that. So yeah, I'm gonna start mining and picking up some oil. And perhaps even clamps, I guess. Oh, what you can see over there is very dangerous. Yeah, we added actual shark boats to this game and they hurt really bad. So I think I'm just gonna swim to the other rocks cause I don't see any shark Oh god, there's a shark boat. I was just saying I don't see any shark boat. Ah, uh, okay, where's my spear? Where's my spear? Okay, ah, uh, it's got getting so close. And yeah, the, the oh, model is glitching out a bit, but I think we got two hits on it. So that's pretty good. You know, so we, we gotta be stay alert when we swim. Like, I'm pretty sure Shark is gonna scare me real bad at some point. Alright, so if we now hit the rock with our pickaxe, we are gonna slowly break it down into smaller chunks. Oh, and we just got metal on the first thing. That's pretty- How, how did I just take damage? It was a shark. I told you, <laughs> you gotta stay alert. Okay, maybe I should mine a third person, then I can see the shark coming. It's actually really smart. But yeah, I'm just gonna leave the scrap stone right there because... 
To be honest, I don't think there's much use for scrap stone. Like, you normally use it as a sheep building block, but... Stone doesn't exactly float. Oh, oh, there's a shark again. Ooh, that was a close call. Wait, I think if I... Yep, it got stuck, so I can just poke it to death, I think. Yep. Oh my god. <laughs> we even get a shark mount. Okay, so which item do I drop? The slippery surface sign is nice, but it's not really essential. Oh my god. I definitely need to pick up the component kits. Okay, I think I can get rid of water. There's so much water in this game anyway. Yeah, you see the spear is pretty good. Like, maybe I actually need to nerf it a bit because... <laughs> so good. Okay, I think I'm just gonna get some water because I really want to mine a little bit of metal over here because it takes a while to swim all the way over here. <laughs> oh, I'm almost running out of oxygen. I was so carried away just hammering my thing at rocks. But yeah, there's even items we can use to make this underwater mining more effective. Yeah, I'm probably gonna craft them once I'm done getting my first round of... Oh god, don't pick up stuff underwater because the only way to drop it again is to swim all the way up to the surface. But that's not our fault, it's just how Scrap Mechanic does things. Well, speaking of mining, I even optimized the mining stuff, so if we had actual drills, it works pretty well underwater. But yeah, I think we're still very far away from actually having drills. But I think we're gonna get there eventually. And yeah, we're slowly also running out of food, so I guess I'll need another sunshake. Yeah, I also really need to get some food. But we're also gonna need a fair bit of metal, so I really wanna make the most out of this. Alright, I'm sick of staring at rocks, so where the hell did I park my raft? Yeah, probably somewhere over there. Now, 200 metal is pretty good for, for starting. Alright, so we can finally craft a chest, although I have to wait another minute. But that's gonna be really helpful. And then I can make some more plastic blocks with my chemicals. And we can also craft a fishing rod. Right, so I think I need to reorganize my raft a little. But yeah, I can still do that later. Now, I'm not gonna need the soil, corn, and seeds. I'm, I'm really not gonna need seeds for now. Oh yeah, we also need to display our amazing shark mount. Okay, I don't think waking up in the hammock is really fun now if you're staring at a, ra a shark. But yeah, we can make this raft look good later. Look at all these resources. Yeah, that should get our raft to some size. And now with the fishing rod, we can actually, well, go fishing. So we'll just throw this thing into the water and then we need to wait for quite some time because, you know, that's how fishing works. Yeah, I guess this is a good time to tell you a fishing story, but I don't really have a fishing story. Yeah, I'm just trying to make the wake bearable. So you don't need to pull as soon as the fish starts nibbling on the thing. I got overly excited. <laughs> okay, now it's getting dark. That's not really convenient, but... Okay, we, wa we wait for the fish to start nibbling, and then at one point it's gonna bite really heavily, and then we pull. So you gotta pay some attention to fishing. And we've got a raw fish, which is pretty good. I mean, it looks pretty cool, but it's also still really salty. So if I know where to eat this fish, what you'll see is that I'll actually lose water when I eat it. So we're gonna need to cook the fish, for which we're gonna need the grill. Now I'm just gonna need a little bit more scrap metal, but luckily we can now also convert normal metal into scrap metal. See, I think this is turning into some kind of long raft. Yeah, I might also want to extend it in this direction. Oh, I also just fished one component kit. So there's a bunch of items you can even get from fishing as well. And it even looks sorta okay in third person. Like, don't ask how the animation for the fishing rod, I mean the rope is done. It, it's kind of a mess, honestly. But it works, and I'm, I don't really want fertilizer at the moment. I really just want some fish. Now I even got chemicals. Oh my god. I think the chance to get something other than fish is only 20%. So I guess I'm just too lucky today. <laughs> there we go. Finally, we've got some fish. And since I've now got the extra scrap metal, I can also craft the grill. Okay, so now that I've got the grill, you can see it's pretty much just a bathtub with some wood in it. But we can grill some fish over here. And yeah, it looks kind of funny seeing this fish uh, in a bathtub. But yeah, you see I'm burning through quite a lot of wood. Like, quite literally. So I guess I should start gathering new wood. Oh, you can see the fish is done now. So I'm just gonna collect the fish slices. Because it magically got sliced somehow. But if I now eat this, we are gonna get a little bit of food back. And most importantly, we don't lose water. So that's pretty good. But yeah, I'm kind of hoping I'm gonna get a little bit of uh, saplings from a tree because they are actually supposed to drop saplings, but either I've been really unlucky or my coat is a little bit janky. Basically, to get a sapling, I just need to cut one section of the tree, 
wait for the tree to fall over, and I don't get any saplings. I think I'm now just gonna cut every tree on this island until I get some sapling. Oh, I think it actually worked. That's good, we've got our first sapling. All right, now I really should have all the resources I need. Oh, and there's some more fish. Yeah, I really need to start sorting my inventory a bit. Because now in this mod, you need a lot of tools as well. So to make the makeshift radio antenna, I'm gonna need the better wood. And we can craft that in the craft board, I think. Maybe I also want to craft myself a second workbench, just so I can craft faster. Well, and we won't have to always keep fishing for food. It's not like I even get food all the time. Yeah, now I don't really have a lot of space on this raft. Uh, anyway, we've just got the makeshift radio antenna. And if we place it down, we can interact with it. And of course, also appreciate the really cool model Right, so let's see if we can send a distress signal. All right, we've unlocked a sail and windsock. And of course, there's also a new entry to the story. Rescue mission. I picked up a weird signal not far from here. Apparently, it's marked as urgent. If I can build a sail, I should be able to get there. Oh, we even get a waypoint. So where is it? Okay, it's somewhere far over there, I think. So I'm, I'm definitely not gonna hammer all the way there, but we um, unlocked the sail and windsock. So this is apparently some bug and I think we need to fix it by just pressing back to the all tab. And now we can actually use the sail and windsock. All right, but first I want to expand the raft a little more. Now I can also use one of the soil I found to craft a scrap field. Okay, where I'm gonna place it? I think here, so I have a like small walkway over here. And now in the scrap field, we can actually grow crops, even cotton. Now I think, yes, I have five carrot seeds and I can even make it grow faster with fertilizer. So in about 10 minutes, we should get a carrot from this. And yeah, we can also get rid of the makeshift antenna. It's just used for the story. I think we should add like a beacon signal to the thing. So it has at least some kind of use. But yeah, for now it's pretty useless. So I'm also now gonna pick up the craft bot, which is kind of heavy, but still somehow fits onto the raft. So right, I think I'm gonna stick the sails uh, here at the front. I also prepared some scrap metal over here, so we can craft a tree farm, which is gonna need three soil. So I'm not really having a lot more soil left, but yeah, this stuff is really expensive. <laughs> oh yeah, and for the sails, we are gonna need a controller, I think. Wow, well luckily I have all the resources for it. Like, that's super convenient. I think I can also just... Okay, I'm gonna need a little bit of scrap metals to make a connect tool. But that shouldn't really be much of an issue. And the tree farm is ready, which is a little big as well. So that's not really good planning on my side. But you can see our carrot is slowly growing over here. Okay, maybe I can move the craft bot a little bit. Yeah, this is much better. And I guess I can just jump if I need to, like, walk over here. But now, sadly, I can't reposition the scrap field unless the carrot is done. So we'll probably do the tree farm later. Because now to actually move this really heavy raft, does it actually float? Oh god, it's really big. Oh, but yeah, you see, this swims very well. Like, it's not too heavy at all. I'm also gonna pick up my favorite glow bug. Oh yeah, maybe you can leave a name suggestion in the comments. Because I'm gonna try and keep this little bug uh, as life as long as possible. And I'm not too sure what will happen when I go really fast with this boat. But that's not gonna be an issue anytime soon. I'm gonna need more scrap metal for the bearing and for switches. And we also need to craft the actual sails, which is gonna require some more glue. Yeah, and I'm also lacking one cotton, so I think I would just use a, a small field to grow some new cotton, but first I need to wait for the carrot, because I don't think I missed any cotton on the island. But yeah, I'm gonna need to go some clam diving, which is like definitely one of my favorite pastimes. Oh, oh, there's a shark. Whew, I was fast. He almost bit me. Yeah, it's kind of dangerous down here. Like, one more reason to hate clam diving. But yeah, I'm not gonna need a ton of glue, so I think it's fine. Okay, there's another shark again. You really gotta watch out for these. Right, so I've made a bearing and a switch, which I'm gonna need for the sails. But first I'm gonna need a bunch more glue. Oh, there's the sails. Now we're gonna need the glue to craft the windsock. Yeah, I think I might as well have to cut some more trees on this island, because I'm running out of wood again. Oh, I missed cotton. Oh, I think it regrow. That's really convenient. I was almost about to grow some extra cotton, but we won't need it anymore. But yeah, I'm still gonna need some extra wood though. So I guess I'll just have some fun chopping some tree. All right, I have about a full stack of wood again. Man, this really starts to look like raft. Seeing this raft in the ocean 
with the flames from the purifier going. It's pretty cool. Oh, our carrot is done growing, which is pretty nice. So I won't really have to go fishing anymore as long as I still, you know, have enough wood to make water. Yeah, I'm gonna move the tree farm a little now because I think it's gonna be a little bit better if I want to put some more stuff down here. Well, since I still have enough carrot seeds, we can just grow another. And since I just found- oh, there's still so much glue left. But since we just got more cotton, I can make a third sail. I can even make two more sails. That's actually really good, because we're gonna need a bunch of sails, I think, to move this thing. All right, so first off, we need to place the windstock down somewhere. So the way this thing works is it basically shows us the direction of the wind. So the wind is now blowing this way, meaning I'm gonna need to turn my raft if I want to actually sail in the direction of the wind. Which should, yep, that should, oh god. Oh, I almost flipped. I like how you can flip your raft, just like you can flip the car as well. But yeah, I need to be careful whenever I put this on the lift, because then my glow bug is not gonna get carried with it. So I'm gonna place my controller somewhere down here in the middle-ish. It's like even with, so it's not the exact middle, but it should be fine. On this, I'm gonna place one sail for steering. Okay, actually, it should be the other rotation, but it doesn't really matter. And then I'm gonna have some sails on the side for, you know, actual speed. And in theory, I can just place them right behind each other, which looks a little stupid, but would work but I'm at least trying to make it look somewhat realistic. Now, the cool thing about the sail is we can also control it with logic. We can also just interact with it like this, and it's gonna, you know, lower or tie up the sail. But if we connect it to a switch, we can just lower a bunch of sails at once. So as you see, that makes it a lot easier to control it. And yep, we're already moving. Now, I'm just waiting for the last sail over here. So you can place it behind here. Yep, that looks about symmetrical. Connect it to my switch. So I'm now going to have four sails for thrust. And the main sail at the front, I'm going to use for steering. So this is why I made the controller. Because now I can just be like this. Move it by 15 degrees. Turn the sail on. And now I think we're even moving. But if I make this at a like, more extreme angle, you can see we slowly, very slowly start steering our raft. Which is gonna be really good if we want to get rid of obstacles and stuff. Like the big rocks at the front. But yeah, this is basically how we're gonna control the raft. And yes, actually putting up some fair speed. I hope the glow bug is fine. Yep. It's not fast enough for it yet. That's good. I mean, not too fast. Okay, but I also need to pay some attention to the steering because there's a bunch of rocks over here. So maybe I first need to, you know, dodge these slowly, but surely. But yes, yeah, you can see we are pretty much surviving on the ocean. By fishing fish from the ocean or growing some crops on our farm, we get water through our water purifier and we've got sails to move our raft. So next episode, we're gonna explore the waypoint over there and let me know what you think of the series so far. And definitely leave some name suggestions for the glow bug. 